Hey everyone, it's Ashton. It is Monday, Motivation Monday. Woo woo. Yes. Okay. I'm changing it to Mindset Monday. We are going to talk about what to do to have a highly effective mindset. Just a few tips that I want to talk about. So I'd love to share a quote with you, and it says, once your mindset changes, everything on the outside will change along with it. And I can totally relate to that because becoming a Beachbody coach and going through the journey that I did, we read personal development books daily or listened to personal development books or I posted out quotes and did so many other things that gave me a knowledge base on how to become or how to stay positive. I was not always a positive person. Um, anything that happened, it was like the end of the world, right? You know, it was like, why me? Why me? Why me? Yeah. So <laughs> I want to talk about things that can help you stay highly effective into being positive and to really appreciating life. So first thing, I want you guys to enjoy and appreciate life in the present moment. The present moment. Happiness is a mindset designed for the present moment. It's not a point in the future and it's not for the past. What you have done in your past, what has happened in the past, is the past. You cannot change it. You can change your attitude behind it. And you should never feel discouraged or down about what you have done in the past because... It makes you who you are today. It makes your story so much more unique. And my biggest usual worries when they come are future, 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 future. Guess what? It hasn't happened yet, so forget about it until it does happen because it'll be the present, right? Don't worry about your future. Let it go. Just let it go. You know, you'll see young people. And they're like, oh my gosh, I have so many amazing moments that are going to come up. My life is going to be so great once I get older. All this stuff, I can do this and this and this. And then you look at the older that are like, all my greatest moments are behind me. All the best moments are behind me. Well, guess what? The truth is the greater of your happiness or misery, whatever you decide to choose, solely depends upon you. Depends upon your attitudes towards that very given moment. Your life right now, as we are speaking, no matter what is going on, you can find something that you can smile upon and you can be grateful for. And if you hold your hand here, or if you want to go here, or if you just want to take a deep breath, blow it out. That's right. You're breathing. Something to be very thankful for. Very grateful. So, your attitude depends on what you think of everything else. So, again, you need to live that life in the present moment and be happy at every single moment that's right now. Right now. Because you need much less than you think to be happy. And you usually have a lot more than you think that you have. So, always smile. It's just a matter of thinking differently. And it takes some time. It really does to retrain your brain and think about, you know, just when, when that negative thing comes up. So, just everyday life. You know, your car gets hit. You get rear-ended. Your kids take that permanent marker and scribble it all over the wall. Um, when you cook dinner and you burn it. You know, your first reactions, of course you're going to get upset. And you have your feelings, which are completely different from your attitude. So, your attitude is how you perceive it. You know, you're going to have your feelings. You can have your feelings, but take a breath and remember. And it's not the end of the world. So, um... Also, 
what I want to talk about is living your purpose. You can stay highly effective in living your purpose because the quote by Frederick, and I don't even want to pronounce the name because I'm going to completely say it wrong, as Andrea would uh, love to hear me say this, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, but it's spelled N-I-E-T-Z-S-C-H-E. So, sorry, I'll completely screw it up. I know I would. Uh, he who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. Your purpose is your why. You can accomplish, accomplish almost anything when you're trying to accomplish things that you care about. Your purpose and your why, even if it's you know on a weight loss journey or a business opportunity, when you have that why behind that dream and that goal, there should be nothing that can outstay in the way of that because it's so powerful. It's something that you want to do, something that you're passionate about because you yourself set this goal and this dream and this. Ugh, yeah, you just let the passion go. So you have a unique voice and a unique drive and you need to express it. So when you do care about something and you do have a why, share it. Share it with people. Make yourself accountable out there. Make yourself accountable. Post it out there. Say, hey, listen, this is my dream. This is my goal. This is what I want to do. And guess what? I'm going to do it. Not for you or you or you. Doing it for myself. Of course, your family can be included in that. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be selfish, you guys. Come on. Leave those comments out of there. Talk all you want below. I usually say thank you. Have a wonderful day. See? That's another thing. Let me tell you. My videos that I've posted out, oh my gosh, these comments are so hilarious. I have so many comments here and there that can be pretty rude. But what am I going to do? I'm not going to start a fight on YouTube over this or Facebook. I say thank you for your comment. I hope you have a beautiful day. Usually that just fires them up even more. And guess what? I really don't care what someone has to think about my videos. Because the reason that I do the things that I do is solely to help is solely to have fun. Um, so if people want to perceive it in a different way and then knock me on it, go right on ahead. Guess what? All you do is you fuel my fire and you can make it burn into a greater, bigger, better fire than it was. So I appreciate it. I really do. Bring those comments on because I love them. Again, that's your mindset, your attitude. You have to learn that no matter what, people will knock you down or say or do whatever they can to um, make you upset because everyone ha perceives everything differently. Everyone has a different perception of things. And if you are doing what you want to do and you know that truly that's, that's what you want to do, then do it. Don't be afraid. Of course, please make sure it's legal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. All right. That's a long enough video for me. I hope you guys learned a little bit about mindset and attitude. And I hope to see you guys all posting out positive things. And when you something negative happens, remember to breathe for a second. Because you are breathing. And then go from there. All right. That's enough. We'll see you guys later. Bye.